Hi Cancer, welcome to your general love reading for mid-October 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Cancer. And it is general, so that means it's not going to be everybody's situation, but that's perfectly okay. You can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading if you want. You can also cross-watch for somebody else, but do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. All right, so let's see, Cancer, what is going on with you mid-October? Okay, and we have stuck. All right, so somebody's feeling stuck in a situation or maybe this um, connection that you have with another person is just feeling stuck overall, like it's not really moving, it's not going anywhere. Let's get into the tarot and see. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, second half of October. What is going on here? Why is this connection stuck? All right. Ooh. Just had the two of cups flip over. So definitely there's love here, or, or there was. So starting off the reading, we have the hanged man crossed by the devil. Yeah, I mean, if that's not stuck, I don't know what is. <clears throat> Let me just get the rest of them. And here is Oliver. Oliver has not showed himself to you guys in a while. Usually it's manics. All right, Oliver, you're going to have to let me do this reading, though. Okay. So, yeah, definitely feeling stuck here. And I feel like the it's almost like it's stuck because there's some kind of a negative pattern or somebody is stuck in fear, which is holding this connection back from um, progressing. So we'll see more when we clarify. For the recent past, we have the Queen of Swords. So it definitely feels like there has been... Um, Possibly some distancing, some coldness, or maybe there were some harsh words that were exchanged between you and this person. It doesn't have to be. It could just be um, kind of holding back, holding, um, being really rigid, being really firm when it comes to something. Possibly one of the two of you may have also set some boundaries. Um, for your energy, we have the King of Swords in reverse and the Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so it feels like you've pulled away from this connection quite a bit here. Definitely feeling like, you know, you're just kind of like trying to protect yourself or being very, very firm in whatever it is that you're feeling or whatever it is that you are expecting from this. For them, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Pentacles. So there is some kind of a shift that is taking place here for this other person. Again, the roles can be reversed, okay? So take the messages as they resonate. Um, there's a shift. There's a shift that is happening for this person, which it feels like this person is coming more into a place of balance or this person is wanting to give more to this connection than they were giving before. I actually feel like this person wants to give more now than than you do. For the near future, we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So yeah, it kind of feels like, you know, I, I mean, it just feels like it's you who's kind of not really um, willing to express yourself or it's almost like you're just closed off you're closed off to love from this connection um potential outcome it's the nine of wands in reverse all right you know what we're gonna clarify that we're gonna clarify that i feel like this connection at the moment it's it's a bit of a challenge it's a bit of a challenge i feel like there's you're just at this point where you feel like you've given up because it just feels like it's not moving anywhere. So let's clarify. Let's um, let's clarify the hanged man with the devil. We do have Capricorn, obviously, showing up here. We have the Knight of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the Two of Swords in reverse. What happened here, Cancer? It really feels like, I mean, this is just stuck beyond, <laughs> um, beyond anything, really. 
it almost feels like there was there's been a lot of tension a lot of irritability a lot of it almost just feels like there has been a lot of craziness a lot of craziness in the energy between you and this other person regardless of whether you are in contact or not and it's just like it's not it, it, it feels like it was just stuck in that craziness and that the two of you can just not come to some kind of an agreement or you're just not able to see things um, from the same perspective. It's like you're on a completely different page with this person and this has been keeping the situation stuck. It almost feels like, you know, there has been this pattern that has been repeating itself where whatever it is that's going on here, like if, if you have been in contact, then it's like, you know, one person is irritable and then the other person just doesn't tolerate that. And then it just turns into this vicious cycle, which it just makes the two of you feel like you're just moving further and further away from each other and that there's just this big clash between the two of you. Um, let me see. I am curious about this Queen of Swords in the past. So let's, let's see what that's about. All right, we have the Page of Wands in reverse. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely a lot of miscommunications. Um, possibly even, it, it may have even gotten to the point where communication was um, stopped because somebody just kind of really put um, either their guard up or just blocked communication or just um, set some boundaries, all right? Something along those lines. Let's see the King of Swords in reverse in your energy. the page of cups in reverse the fool in reverse and the chariot in reverse all right so there's your energy showing up here all right cancer it's kind of feeling like you're you know it doesn't matter maybe it doesn't matter who's in the wrong here okay it could be that this other person was in the wrong and that you have every right to be annoyed irritated frustrated, all of that. But there's something about this energy that at the moment it's like it's it's keeping you kind of stuck as well. Um, so it could just be, you know, that you're being triggered, which would be completely understandable, all right, depending on whatever has happened here. But it's like the way that you are coping with whatever whatever you're dealing with here with the behavior of the other person it's been keeping you back I feel like you are aware of this and that's why you're pulling away um, so I'm just kind of either validating that for you confirming that for you if this is what you've also been feeling okay I feel like it's just this point is being emphasized here yes you you might have every right to feel how you feel, but I feel like there's also a suppression here, a suppression of your feelings. And what happens is when you suppress those feelings, that what you truly feel, it's like it can come out as a defense mechanism, which then it's kind of like attacking your own body, if that makes sense. Because you're keeping some negativity that has come up from this connection. You're keeping that negativity inside because you're not allowing the feelings to truly come out and purge those feelings. And so that is holding you back. And that's why it feels like you're not in, in, your, in your power. It, it can even feel like you're losing control over this connection, over yourself, over the situation and even that can even leak over into other areas of your life so you might be feeling that and so you might just be feeling stuck overall and not fully understanding why I feel like it's because you just have your guard up and it, it could even be that you're just really critical with your own self and because of that you know you you might also be critical of the other person and then you're, you're just not tolerating anything so and that's okay, you know, if this person is not for you, then this person is not for you. You can move away from this connection. But I feel like there's a message in here to just, you know, be careful of how you cope with it 
and you know just to be honest with yourself allow yourself to purge this allow yourself to be vulnerable to your own self not to this person necessarily okay um, just so that you can get it out so that you can get it out and so that your body stops attacking itself so I hope that makes sense let's see this knight of cups in reverse although it's pretty clear this is just you again holding back your emotions and taking a step back from this person which again like I said you know is perfectly okay but just don't let that completely take over your life you're not you don't have to lose control over something you know whatever it is that has happened here so clarifying the knight of cups we have the six of pentacles yeah you're pulling back because i feel like you felt like you may have been either giving more here or there's just something that's scattered here in the energy just overall all right because we have the six of pentacles um for the other person's energy here so i feel like yeah you're just really pulling back from them I mean, I don't know if it could be because you feel like maybe pulling back might get them to give more to you. And yeah, that could that could work. But are you damaging yourself at the same time? Like, is that really going to solve the problem just by keeping those emotions bottled up? <clears throat> Let's see what's going on with them. Let's see. And again, 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 <laughs> rules can definitely be reversed. Okay, don't attack me in the comments, please. All right, let's see the Wheel of Fortune for them. All right, we have the Page of Swords and we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. I really feel like there may have been a conversation here or something that just didn't go as expected, okay? Just overall in general. Um, but for this person, there's definitely a shift here in the way that this person wants to communicate. I feel like this person wants to move more towards communicating in a more honest way, but it also comes with the sense of having given up. Um, feeling like that can't happen, but this person does want a change. This person does want there to be a shift in this connection. They just feel like it, it just doesn't feel like it's getting anywhere. But this is somebody who does want to, to communicate. Let's see the Six of Pentacles. So again, I don't know what, what has happened here. I mean, this person may have, you know, maybe they did something to you. I'm not saying they didn't. I'm not saying you're wrong in feeling how you're feeling. All right, so for the Six of Pentacles, we have the Wheel of Fortune, again, showing up for them, and the Two of Wands. Yeah, this person really wants to bring things into balance. This person wants to be able to give more um, to you, but they feel like they can't right now because the situation is such that it's it's just like you're stuck and and I feel like you're closed off. You're, you're closed off to this person. Um, so I feel like this person is not really taking much initiative at the moment with the Two of Wands. They're thinking about it, it's like, they're just wanting there to be a change, but they don't really know exactly what it is that they should do to bring about that change, especially when it comes to communication. So let's see the Queen of Cups in reverse coming up here. Ooh, okay. The King of Pentacles in reverse, the Empress, and the Moon. So Pisces also showing up here. Again, <laughs> I, I, I feel like I can't stress this enough. I feel like, I mean, it really depends on what you want from this connection, okay? For those of you that might still feel like this is a person that you belong with, Okay, and if this is a person who you do feel is deserving of you, but it's just that there is miscommunication and there's irritability and, you know, um, just something like that that can be worked out. Again, what I'm, what I'm getting here is that in order for you to fully stand in your power, you know, you're, you have to really go deep and look at what is going on deep, deep, deep inside you with this whole situation. Because there, there's something here that you're holding back. I feel like you're, you're holding that back from yourself as well. And that is just kind of just 
even with this Queen of Cups being in reverse, even if even if you don't want this person, it's still it's still getting you to lose your own sense of stability here. Like being like, you know, nope, I don't need this person. I'm good. I don't have any feelings for them. I'm over it. I'm done. But but if you're not, <clears throat> that's just boomeranging back at you. That's what I'm getting here. So, yeah, you can totally be in this Empress energy. Like, you have that in you. You have that in you. To fully stand in your power, take control, um, you know, get unstuck. But it's going to require for you to pretty much, you know, put the sun on the moon. Like, put light on the dark. See what it is that you are hiding from your own self. And then just let it out, you know, even if it's a little bit painful, that's okay. That's how you're going to fully get yourself unstuck. All right, so let's see that Nine of Wands. Which is the potential outcome. Right, we have strength in reverse. So Leo also is showing up here. Um, here's the message, okay? This is like, the, this is just like a, a precaution, all right? So if, if you stay in this energy that you are currently in, right, of not facing your fears or not facing, you know, that shadow aspect of yourself where you're hiding, you know, what you truly feel, and, you know, and accepting those feelings like, okay, you know, this is how I feel. If I feel hurt, I feel hurt and it's okay to feel hurt. I'll get over it, but I need to feel that hurt. If I feel like I still have feelings for this person, even though I think I shouldn't, yeah, but I still do. I, I can accept that. It's okay. I have every right to feel however I feel. So if you don't do that and if you stay in the energy that is currently presenting itself here, to me at least, all right, if this is your reading, it's just going to keep you in the same situation that, that you are in right now. Like you're just going to keep feeling like something is bugging you. It's going to keep you stuck in other areas as well. That's the message that I'm getting here. It's going to keep you in a state where you're not going to feel strong. You're not going to feel, I mean, you can kind of make yourself believe temporarily that, that you're being strong, um, but it's not going to be real strength. It's just the strength to keep feelings suppressed. That's not the kind of strength that you know you would want or that's going to actually help you to move forward whether you want to be with this person and figure things out or whether you just want to move on from this person or this connection. So that's the, um, let me get one more. I actually wanna get my, one more here. I mean, even with the Nine of Wands being in reverse like that, it's like completely resisting, like having the wall up even towards your own self. All right, so here's the possibility for you, all right? If you, because you could go either way right now. You could go either way and it's really up to you. And that's why I wanted to get one more because I wanted to see, you know, what, what other potential is there for you here? Okay, and we have the Queen of Wands, which is all about being in your power, being confident, feeling good about yourself, being desirable, going after your goals, getting, just doing things, achieving things, getting what you want, manifesting. It's all of that. It's passion. So, and really all it is, is just being honest with yourself. Being honest with yourself. Illuminate what it is that you're hiding deep inside at least to your own self. I'm not saying necessarily you have to express this to this other person. You can. It really depends on the situation. You definitely can do that. But it's mostly about um, being honest with your with yourself here. All right, Cancer. You got this. You totally got this. We all hide our feelings from ourselves occasionally. not just you or this other person if the rules are reversed so 
So let's see, Cancer, final message. And we have the full moon in Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. Yeah, I didn't want to put it like that, but it is like with the um, strength card being in reverse, it can be kind of like, you know, because you're proud of yourself, you want to have pride in the good sense of the word. And so sometimes pride doesn't allow us to, you know, really get vulnerable with our own selves. So yeah, that's the message here. So those were the messages, Cancer. Thank you so much for watching and much love.